Welcome to the Prophecy Club. I've got Pastor Messi on the phone with me today. In case you don't remember him, back in May of 2016, he made three DVDs with Prophecy Club. Good brother in the Lord. I have met him and his wife, and I believe him to be a prophet of the Lord. Three DVDs he made were Miracles in Pakistan, which is a story of leading 23,000 Muslims to Jesus in Pakistan, and Visits to Heaven and Hell, and he went, I believe, once to heaven, twice to hell, The Babylonians are coming, his nine dreams of judgment on America, explosive prayer strategies by uh, Bree Keaton, and that is about emergency prayers that really work, and then Lindsey Williams' new DVD, Trump Speaks to the Elite, and that's about how Trump changed everything, and the new plans of the elite are going to have to be made. All five of those DVDs valued at $168, available now for just a gift of $75. Now... Let me refresh your memory on who Pastor Messi is. Jesus came to him in 1989. He was saved in 1993, endured numerous persecutions and, t- and attempts from Muslims, trying to kill him in Pakistan with the help of God. Him and his wife started over 300 churches, baptized over 23,000 Muslims in Pakistan. Like Dimitri Dudem, God sent him to America. And in July 1999, he began to get dreams and visions about the fall of America, the judgment coming on America. Now we've got him on today to update us with more new information. Pastor Massey, welcome back to the Prophecy Club. Praise God. Thank you, my dear brother. All right. Let's start with one of the things I think we want to cover here is on your DVD called The Babylonians Are Coming, you made a prediction. I'll read it straight off of your PowerPoint because I've got a copy of the PowerPoint right here in front of me. Then your comments, please. You say, in January 2016, that you had a dream that you met Donald Trump. He was very disappointed because he was not treated properly, very unfairly, and you prayed with him and encouraged him not to worry. Let me just read it directly here. The Lord began showing me that although this man is not too much of a Christian, he is God's man chosen for this hour to bring America around. The Lord impressed upon me to be praying for him because many people, even from his own party, hate him so much that they would try to do anything in order to stop him. They would even go so far as to remove him from the face of the earth. He is like King Cyrus. As he was helping the Israelites to build the temple, God showed me that this is the man that God has chosen to help the people, especially the Christians, and to delay the judgment which God is going to bring by allowing the other nation from Russia and the Orient to attack the United States. Your comments, please. Yes, uh, that was, uh, you know, the very powerful dream. The Lord showed me that uh, Mr. Trump will be the next president of the United States. Uh, And when I had this dream, I was not even watching any television or listening any news, because in 2015, I started fasting and praying and I almost fasted for 100 days when the Lord took me to heaven one time and three times to hell. And during that time, as I was in my fasting mode, the Lord showed me uh, and allowed me to meet Mr. Trump. And in fact, whenever God gives you a dream, there you are responsible for that dream. Sometimes the dream is positive, sometimes the dream is negative. But that doesn't mean that you should be worried about your negative dream. We are given the power to change the situation through the through prayer. And I remember when God gave me the dream, and the Lord really impressed on my heart to pray for Mr. Trump to be the next president, and that has that is coming. Praise God tomorrow. You know, that's going to be wonderful. The inauguration, yes. Now, let me chime in here just a little bit. As you know, my uh, normal interview mode is to let my guests do most of the talking. However, last night, or I should say early this morning at 6.45 a.m., I was awakened out of a dream. And I saw one man walk up to another man and say, Trump's been shot. That's all it was. I woke up. I said, Leslie had a dream. Told her the dream. She says, well, you know what to do. I said, yeah, pray against it. She says, well, not just pray against it, but you cancel the plans of the enemy. 
So then I turned around and sent that fast track out, or as prayer request, all the fast track team, and to, oh, I guess, about 15,000 people on our email, getting them all praying because we do not want anything to happen to Trump. We want to see him be God's man to get in there and turn a lot of things around, bring a certain degree of, of repentance, and maybe even a delay and a softening of the judgment coming to America to some degree, whatever whatever he can do. Amen? Pastor Massey, back to you. That's one thing I learned, uh, that later when uh, something happened, I had the dream, uh, because the uh, uh, Republican didn't like him, and they want to uh, you know nominate uh, Ted Cruz, and the Lord showed me that I should pray against this dream that will not come to pass, that Ted Cruz must you know, drop from the race. So my, myself and my wife and our team start praying against it. And within a two weeks, we found out that Ted Cruz dropped from the race. Praise God. Then the Lord showed us that we need to pray against Hillary. In fact, in my, my vision about heaven and hell, the Lord showed me that he has called me like Jehu, to fight against Jezebel. And now I understand, you know, who the Jezebel is and was. You know, the Lord showed me that uh, next fight we have to do against is Hillary Clinton. So we start praying against Hillary that, uh, you know, uh, that God will, uh, I mean, everything she will do, she will fail. You know, there's so many prayers we prayed that her brain, you know, will not be able to function properly. She will lose, uh, you know, the, the election. I mean, there's so many things. And then the Lord starts saying to me that I remember my wife and I was coming from Iowa. I was speaking. This is very interesting that when I had this dream about Mr. Trump, God opened the door for me to speak on a Tea Party's meeting, a Republicans meeting in Iowa. This was so amazing. And as I was coming uh, from Iowa to Colorado, the Lord, the Holy Spirit spoke to me very clearly that I should say every day that I decree and declare that Mr. Donald J. Trump is the president of the United States. You know, I decree and declare that Mr. Donald Trump is, you know, is the president of the United States. So we need to do something when God gives us a dream. Uh, so same thing as you have this dream. You know, we are praying against it, that, you know. Well, brother, uh, lead us right now in a prayer for Trump and his protection. Yes. So we're praying those five prayers. Let the, you know, like as the David prayed against when he found out that one of the guy, his name is Hathaful, is with Absalom. So David prayed, Lord, turn the counsel of Hathaful into foolishness. So we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whosoever is against Mr. Trump, let their counsel to be turned into foolishness. And according to Psalm 33, verse 10, and their plans to be destroyed and be overthrown. And, and uh, according to the book of Judges and according to the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 20, they must be divided in their evil plans and evil agenda. According to Psalm 41, the will of the enemies of Mr. Trump should not be fulfilled in his life, but fall back on their own heads, what they're doing in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 109, we pray all those people, those who are plotting against him, they must be removed and be uprooted, and, 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 and they must repent. And according to Isaiah 43, if they don't want to repent, they must be removed from the face of the earth, because this is the man God has chosen to you know, turn this country around and bring the law and justice, because so much corruption, you know, is taking place in this country. And Jesus will come, and in the book of Acts, everything has to be restored, praise God. And then the Lord has shown to me that it is just like the Pharaoh had this dream about, uh, you know, uh, seven fat cows and seven you know, skinny cows right, and right. all those dreams. Seven years of and plenty, the, seven years of famine. Yes, the Lord showed me it's going to be, a, you know, eight years, like, you know, Trump will be be the president for the next eight years. 
and this is going to be a year of plenty and and the god is going to send a revival throughout this country and throughout this world this is this is going to be the last revival which is going to be uh, uh i mean be sent into this world and after this going to be tribulation and then the jesus will come praise god glory to jesus the, the, you know you remember that brother stan you calculate that jesus going to be coming sometime at the end of you know like uh, in 30s i don't know i don't want to give a date or something you know but that's the time frame right it looks like right well you know the only thing is is with the dates i i like to how do i say this i don't want to give a date but at the same time i don't want people to start thinking Oh, well, Jesus isn't coming for another 50 years. I also don't want them to think like there's one guy out there that says Jesus is going to come in 2018. Uh, no. <laughs> so I only give a, an estimate of, here's why I say, and I don't set a date. I know that setting a date and missing it is the death of your ministry, okay? I understand that. So I'm not setting a date. I'm saying someplace in the 2020, 2021 ballpark, in that someplace in that ballpark, if we don't pray, we could see Russia attack America. But I said, if we don't pray. But one of the things that we have all learned is our prayers can be very, very powerful. And I've talked about that and given several examples of how we've been able to delay or stop things that were going to be judgment. I mean, just like this whole thing, this this meteor thing with uh, the splitting America, with all the stuff with uh, Israel. If we'd have touched Israel, God's going to touch us. We split Israel, God's going to split us. So the whole point, God is trying to get, he's not trying to say, okay, who's really hearing from me? Who can give an accurate prophecy? Now, this is something I've had to learn through the years, okay? What he is trying to say is I want everybody to stop sinning and repent and turn back to me, choose me, choose my ways. That's the heart of God. That's what he wants to see. Everything he does is pushing people towards Jesus. Amen? Amen. And, and uh, then the Lord is showing to me also that uh, uh, it may, the you know, European Union may come back, but right now it's going to split. Euro is going to go down. That's that's one thing I, I the Lord has, you know, shown to me. Uh, one other interesting thing, I don't like to say, thus say the Lord and those kind of things. The Lord spoke to me uh, in in my spirit, just like the way you see, the Elijah was in the cave. Uh, there's a wind came and the fire came, the earthquake came, and then the small, you know, voice. Still small voice, Lord. right. Still small voice. And, you know, I may not be saying, thus say the Lord, but I believe that the Lord is speaking to me. You know, praise God. And... Uh, and that's something, and we need to be rejoicing and praising God. I was in Australia uh, in the month of November. I was there for three weeks. Then I was in Uganda. I was in Egypt. Then I was in the UK, you know, four countries. Our election was viewed, you know, the people in Australia, the white people in Australia, and all, you know, other people, all other people, they were much more interested in American election than their own election. Everybody in Australia, were, Christians were praying for Mr. Trump to be the next president. Awesome. I was there for three weeks and every Christian in Australia, you know, were praying. I called the people in India. I say, you know, pray for Mr. Trump to be the next president. I call the people in Africa, Uganda, Rwanda, pray for the Mr. Trump to be the next president because God gave us the dream of vision and now we need to pray for it. And in fact, the you know, Babylonians coming, I explain when God gives us a dream of vision, we have a responsibility just like the way God spoke to Moses that he going to destroy the people of Israel. But what Moses did, Moses fasted and prayed and God changed his mind. What happened in the in the book of Jonah? You know, God said he's going to destroy the people of Nineveh. 
But the people of Nineveh, they fasted and prayed, and God changed his mind. Oh, that's so such God a did. good point. I mean, I've got to jump in here and say something on this. I got an email this morning, and I, <laughs> it's so negative. I mean, <laughs> but he, the guy doesn't understand. He's calling us a you know, a bunch of false prophets, the things you say, you know, are all wrong. And if you're in the Old Testament, they would stand you up against the wall and stone you to death. And I thought, you know, when I was a young prophecy student and I read the scriptures, especially, I mean, I can quote Deuteronomy 18, uh, 1921. Uh, if the prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, and that thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken. Thou shalt not be afraid of him. Okay, I understand. But what I have discovered as I have matured, and I think you'll agree with this, as I've learned more of the scriptures, as I've learned more of the heart of God, in my prayer closet, in my walk with him, I have learned that that is not his heart trying to get 100% accurate prophecies through his holy servants, God, his prophets and apostles. That's not his heart. That's not. I mean, Nineveh, okay, he made Jonah look like a fool. That was not his heart. His objective was not to prove Jonah heard from God. His objective was to get the hearts of the people to return to righteousness. And that's what people can't understand. I think we've had a great victory. Yes, there were some people that, that God said this is going to happen. Well, it was going to happen. But we prayed a delay, a softening, or in some cases we prayed it away. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's a good thing. As Trump would say, that's an asset. Yeah, praise God. You know, and uh, like uh, even in the individual cases, I explained in that DVD, people can call you and get to the DVD, Babylonians are coming and explain like uh, Ahab was a very, very wicked person. And God sent a message through Ahab that I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to kill you. And what happened? Ahab fasted and prayed and became humble before God. And again, God sent the message through Elijah. I mean, the first message came through Elijah. Second message also came through Elijah. You know, okay, I will not do it, you know, in your lifetime because you became humble. You see, this is what God, because God is a merciful God. God is a loving God. He's not really worried about, uh, hey, because, uh, you know, prophet so and so said, and that must come to pass. Exactly. Because, yes. <laughs> yes. Keep going, brother. You know, because what the problem with the people is they're worried about their own name and the reputation. Because my name is on the line, because I said this thing, so it sh must come to pass. Even the whole world is going to be destroyed. Why? These prophets, they want what they said must come to pass, whole America to be destroyed, people go to hell. You know that if America to be destroyed, there's hundreds of millions of people, they have not given their life to Jesus. They're going to end up in hell. Okay, but but just see, say, that's not example, their heart. They, yo, they, all they care yo, about is that some guy that says something and it comes to pass. That's all they care about. But again, what I'm trying to say, brothers and sisters, as you mature in the Lord, both in the scriptures and your walk with him, you come to see that's not the heart of God. What he wants to do is get people saved. He's not trying to prove, okay, this guy here really heard from God because he got 100% prediction right. That's not his heart, right? Tell him, brother. Tell him. Yes. So you see, I mean, I will very strongly encourage the people to get that DVD from you guys. You know, uh, Babylonians are coming because yeah, that we got an awesome really offer. explains why. I mean, God says he is loving and he is merciful and forgiving. That's what we need to see. You know, when God says he changed his mind, that, that doesn't mean that God, uh, you know, is, is not, is not going to stick to his word. He does stick to his word, but the love and mercy overrule the justice. Amen. Praise amen. God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know, so that's what people need to understand because you see, we got up every day, three in the morning, three to six, you know, a.m. And now we are even praying 
uh, in the evenings, you know, every 5.30 to, you know, 7.30, we're praying for United States of America. We're praying for Mr. Trump to, to, to this transition go smooth and he will, he will not only be here for four years, but we are going there for eight years. Amen. Amen. And that's what we're praying for. And, and when God's people start praying and fasting, in fact, our team is fasting for 21 days. And uh, I mean, this is something. And when you start praying and fasting and praying and crying before God, I think, you know, God is going to bring the answer because, you know, God is not an unjust judge. He's a just judge and he does answer prayers and what he, his big intention, God's big intention is not to kill people. His big intention is to save people. Amen. That's why, that's why we need to be praying and fasting that God will pour his Holy Spirit upon the United States of America. That's why God did not allow. Could you, can you imagine that why God didn't allow Hillary to be the next president? Because Hillary will send many people to hell. Just think about Obamacare. In that Obamacare, they, were, they had a plan to put a chip in 2017 in everybody's body. You know, have a, have a, this, uh, uh, what you call RFD chip, you know, whatever, right, whatever. Right, right, right. That, that, that was in Obamacare's. You know, aren't you glad that, that Hillary is lost the election? Praise Amen. God. Amen. And in fact, my wife and I used to sing this song, you know, in our prayer life, you know, private prayer. You know, there's an Urdu song. We say, Shaitan hai paon ke niche, Shaitan hai paon ke niche. I'm just saying, the Satan is under our feet. Satan is under our feet. That's what, I, what we used to sing. But we say, no, okay, we're going to put the, you know, not Satan. We're going to put Hillary is under our feet. Hillary is under our feet. You know, so that's what we used to sing. We get so aggressive in our prayer. We're so aggressive. We, we need to be aggressive in our prayer. And nothing is impossible with those who believe. Because when you pray, you must believe that you have received it and you will receive it. Praise God. That is the beauty about our God. God is our, our God is a merciful and loving and caring. And as we have prayed, I mean, God showed us that Mr. Trump is going to be the president, but that doesn't mean that we should you know, just sleep now. No, no, no. We have to pray for him every day. When Mr. Trump met me in a dream, he said to me, you will be my pastor. You know, then I, I really focus on what that, what does that mean? It means that God is calling me that I must pray for Mr. Trump every day. That's what God is calling me. That's what God is calling the Christian brothers and sisters. You know, we're going to be his pastors. We're going to be, you know, be his prayer warriors to lift him up before the throne of God, that the evil plan of the evil one will not to be fulfilled. You know, like you have this dream this morning. God is showing to you that Satan is trying his best to remove him from the face of the earth. Amen. But God sent you the warning that, hey, get up and pray against this. Cancel and destroy that, that dream. And, and uh, every demon associated with that dream, we bind that demon. We bind the spirit of murdering, killing, shooting, abduction, kidnapping, and, and bind them with the mighty chains to send them to hell where they belong. And we also bind those people, those who are trying to harm him. In Jesus' name, they will not succeed. Amen? Praise Amen. God. Yeah, there are three DVDs uh, which Brother Stan Johnson has produced uh, through the Prophecy Club. Number one is Miracles in Pakistan. It has my story, how I got saved, how the Lord brought me to the United States. The second DVD is how the Lord uh, took me to heaven of, uh, and three times to hell when I was fasting and praying. And... And the Babylonians are coming also many dreams and visions about the United States of America. And the last part of that DVD is talking about when I had the dream about Mr. Trump to be the next president of the United States. So I will very much encourage you to, 
to visit uh, prophecyclub.com and order those DVDs. And also, if you like to have me to come and speak in your church, you know, visit me, uh, persecutedchristians.org. And uh, please uh, contact your brother Stan Johnson. Absolutely. And so, God and, bless you. And thank you for being on Prophecy Club. Praise God. Welcome, brother. Okay, so if you'd like to have miracles uh, in Pakistan, visits to heaven and hell, the Babylonians are coming, he described those, explosive prayer strategies by Bree Keaton, Trump speaks to the elite by Lindsey Williams, that's his newest one, all five of those valued at $168 for a gift of $75. You can order that at prophecyclub.com or by calling 785-266-1112. That is one of the best deals we've had, I oh, don't know, well, since probably the summer. Miracles of Pakistan, visits to heaven and hell, Babylonians are coming, explosive prayer strategies, Trump speaks to the elite, all for a gift of $75, prophecyclub.com, or call 785-266-1112. Lord, continue to protect Donald Trump, his family, staff, get him in the White House for eight years, kick out the scorpion snakes, and heal this nation in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening, thank you for your prayers, and thank you for those ongoing gifts of support. God bless. Prayerfully consider supporting the Prophecy Club with your gifts of support. We would not be here without your prayers and generous financial support. Now from the Prophecy Club, some exciting opportunities for you. Lindsey Williams has just come out with what I think is probably his best and most important DVD. It's called Trump Speaks to the Elite. Why did Henry Kissinger go to the Trump Tower to meet with Donald Trump? Elite, total devastation. How to take advantage of the elite. 785-266-1112 or prophecyclub.com. Trump speaks to the elite. As you know, Redwood Gold is now sponsoring the Prophecy Club. That means that they help us to continue to be able to come to you. So, of course, we want to help them. In an effort to get you to introduce yourself to them, they're offering a one gram silver bar free and postage paid just for giving them a call. They just want to get to know you. Now, it's a limited time offer. It works like this. You call Redwood Gold, tell them you listen to the Prophecy Club, chat with them a moment. They send you a one gram silver bar free and postage paid. Redwood Gold, 844-800-6677. Pretty good deal, huh? Just for an introduction. Redwood Gold, 844-800-6677. No obligation. Tell them you listen to the Prophecy Club. Redwood Gold, 844 800 Sixty-six seventy-seven. You got nothing to lose. Call today. For a limited time, the Prophecy Club is offering Michael Rood's Chronological Gospels and the corresponding map. Michael Rood explains how God instructed him and guided him through countless scriptures to finally compile the corrected Chronological Gospels. He explains how he found the corrections to many of the unexplained verses, misunderstood verses, and old English words outdated now He's updated to modern English. He's quick to point out that he is a King James only man, but he is taking great care not to change a meaning, but rather to update with the correct word so we get the modern understanding. He puts all five of the Gospels, including Revelation, in chronological order, showing that the ministry of Jesus was in fact 70 weeks long, not three and a half years long, which has caused many problems of understanding. Michael claims he has made all corrections, and this will bring a massive new understanding to previous errors and confusion in some of the verses. For a limited time, Chronological Gospels available through Prophecy Club for a gift of $65. He also offers an 18-inch by 4-foot map of the Chronological Gospels so you can quickly and easily find a reference and put many of the pieces of the puzzle together. Gift of $16 for the map. Chronological Gospels, gift of 65, map, gift of 16 at...